The Grand Court there to Pontom is next. It's a Grade 3 handicap hurdle over two mile five furlong. It's a game of inches. Joshua Sullivan, Jane Austen, David Robertson, Ten Arlo, Darren Thompson, Ballers Dimension, James Shane, Music World, David Hooney, Big Penny, Graham Beckwith, and stellar performance for Leon Van Rensburg. Surprisingly small field for this Grade 3 hurdle. And away they go. Very short run to the first, which they all get over okay. And Jane Austen has gone into the lead on Ten Arlo. And it's a game of inches, more than I mentioned, and stellar performance. The music one and Big Penny at the back. So 17 hurdles to take in all. In this one, they've already taken the first of them. They're heading towards the second, and Ten Arlo appears to be a somewhat reluctant leader. Only Gray in the field. It's over the second. Um, stellar performance on the outside in second there. And it's a game of inches and more dimension between those two. Jane Austen, the Music World and Big Penny over the third. It looks like Ten Arlo is going to take the leader's role. And settle down in the lead. Bit of a mistake at the back there by Big Penny. Jane Austen's moved back into second. Safely over that one. And over the sixth as well. Ten Arlo, three lengths clear then for Darren Thompson, who's had a really spectacular season, especially in the last few weeks. And he found his form at the Cheltenham Festival and has stayed right up there in the wooden enclosure. Ever since, really, lots of big races. Maybe still more to come. As they get over the seventh, ten hollow. No clip. Stellar performances in second. And Jane Austen, it's a game of inches. More of dimension. Music more than big penny as they can't pass the stand again. And they've got another complete circuit of. The Oi Toy Track and Ten Arlo continues to lead by three lengths. There's a line of three sheer in second. Jane Austen's stellar performance and it's a game of inches. Music World is back in fifth with Morris Dimension on its outside and then Big Penny just the back of the only a head behind Morris Dimension as they take that ninth as they race away from the stands. I'm just having a little look round there to see how far in front is of the rest of them. You'll see them all travelling nicely in behind. At what point will this one kick for home? And Darren Thompson, he's done quite so many horses with Spanish names as he used to. He's had a lot of horses with, I think they were Spanish names. You can see Game of Interest is back in second. And Jane Austen and Music World. Head towards the next flight, which is flight 11. All safely over that one. 10 Arlo clear by four to five lengths, the rest of them covered by no more than three. As they get over the 12th. Ten Arlo being joined now by Jane Otter as they come into that funny double hurdle on the mound, which is like the little wall thing first, and then the hurdle jumping off the mound. And they're all safely over the first part of it, all safely over the second part of it. Just three to jump then now, and Ten Arlo now being challenged by Mauler's Dimension. Although Mauler's Dimension just took a tug on that one, doesn't want it to go and challenge too soon. Ten Arlo's kicked for home, turning, for, turning into the straight. There's just over three furlongs still to go. 
And Ten Arlo is in the lead. Two more flights to get over. Ten Arlo still four to five clear. Of it's a game of inches in second. On the inside, music was getting a dream split through. Mauler's dimension on the outside. And then Jane Austen just behind them. Running off from the back is Big Penny. Still a performance widest of all. They've jumped the second last. And Ten Arlo still four clear. Of it's a game of inches. Racing down towards the final flight then. Little Mauler fell on the go over the final flight. Ten Arlo landed him a lead. Here comes Music World with a good finish. But it's Ten Arlo who's clear. Ten Arlo into the final furlong. Ten Arlo still two to three clear. Music World starting to close, but Ten Arlo's hanging on as they race into the final quarter furlong. It's going to be Ten Arlo all the way. Ten Arlo wins it. Close for second. Music World. It's a game of inches. Still a performance in Big Penny. And I've got a feeling that the rest of them may have gifted that to Ten Arlo. Something had taken him on earlier on. They may have. Made more of a race of it, but Ten Arlo was given an easy lead. And Ten Arlo took it for Darren Thompson. Music World second for David Hooley. It's a game of inches. Joshua Sutherland was third. Stellar performance for Leon van Rensburg was fourth. And Big Penny for Craig Beckwith was fifth.